Hello and welcome to Mobility Outlook. Today, we bring you an exciting development in the electric vehicle market. BYD India, a leading new energy vehicles manufacturer, has unveiled its latest offering, the BYD Seal. Priced competitively at Rs 41 lakh for the dynamic variant, Rs 45.55 lakh for the premium and Rs 53 lakh for the performance model, this sedan is already creating waves in the industry. Positioned as a global competitor to the Tesla Model 3, the BYD Seal comes in rear wheel drive and all wheel drive configurations, offering advanced suspensions and an impressive 3.8 second acceleration from 0 to 100 kmph. But what sets it apart is its exceptional 650 km range achieved through innovative design and the integration of CTB, that is cell to body technology. We will be diving into the sedan's cutting-edge features, including its safety measures with ADAS Level 2, NFC card integration and a robust 9 airbag system. Additionally, the SEAL incorporates a highly efficient heat pump system, ensuring optimal battery temperature regulation and even functioning as a portable power supply for external devices. With all these attributes and aggressive pricing, why BYD India has taken the CBU route, that is completely built unit, offering as a fully imported vehicle. Also, when the players in this segment are very few, why the company is limiting to CBU, which has restrictions to sell only 2,500 units per year. To clarify our doubts, we have a special guest with us, Mr. Sanjay Gopalakrishnan, Senior Vice President of Electric Passenger Vehicle Business, BYD India. Sanjay, thank you for your time. Thank you, Murli. Nice meeting you. The congratulations on uh, the launch of SEAL. So, I have a couple of questions. The first one is, why CBU? Because it seems to be a very nice product and then competing in this sedan segment where the players are very less. See, uh, we wanted to bring this uh, this category of cars. We already have the MPV and the SUV. Uh, and plus, BYD Seal globally is known as a Model 3 competitor. So, we yeah. thought let us bring it to the Indian market. Uh, let us bring the technology and uh, let us see how the car how the car performs, how the Indian consumers like it. Mm. Uh, that's why we thought let us bring it fast and that's why this in this route we are looking at bringing the cars. But there are limitations, right? I think you can... Uh, Basically the number, 2500, 2500 number, that's the, as per the EC certificate and okay. the Indian regulation. So, we'll see how the market mm. and if the demand is high, if it required, if you want to stretch the number, then we'll take the ARI homologation certificate. Okay. The ARA homologation helps us to remove this 2500 criteria okay. Okay. So okay. because we have a local ARA certificate so we can bring in as per, as per the demand. Okay. Yeah. But how is the dealership taking because uh, for <laughs> them the business is more important. Yeah. So I think the dealerships currently we have 24 touch points. I think the major markets for this kind of a product are going to be the major metros. People have known about SEAL because you know they have Last year itself, they have seen it in the auto expo. Then they have been, you know, watching videos. Then globally, also a lot of news has come. So people have been inquiring about Seal. Do you see Seal enticing your existing customers? There have been a lot of interest. Even some of the Auto3 customers, they are also interested in Seal to buy a second car. You know, uh, looking at the technology of Auto3 and of course with B Seal. So I think uh, the dealers are. Uh, quite happy and even if we are able to do that kind of numbers it's a good number for that segment and that price point yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. the yeah. ground clearance is very yeah. low yeah uh, but it's condition. it's a, like a luxury sedan you know where the ground clearance is not very this thing so but i think because of the features of you know like itac and other suspensions and everything i think it is able to manage that kind of a ride and everything over the period that's what we feel okay so, from the <coughs> consumer's point of view, what, according to you, are the key drivers <coughs> for them to you know, look at the uh, seal? I think uh, the key driver is uh, the BYD technology who are aware about it, the performance coefficient of the car, uh, then of course it's luxury and sleek styling, uh, then the blade battery and the range. Mm. You know, I think it's some of the luxury cars. Even at a high price point, gives a range less than 250 kilometers or 200 kilometers. So we are going up from 510 to as high as 650 kilometers range. So I think that will also bring go a long way in consumers coming into it because they know 650. Even if I get 600 kilometers, it's a huge 
you know, value for them. So I think that will also help in you know coming to seal That's one. over other products. That's the one. one yeah. Sir. Yeah. Because yeah. I think yeah. the practical range will ultimately give you the benefit, will give you the edge over competition. That's what happens because that we have seen in E6, that we have seen in Auto 3. The seal comes with an 8 year or 1,60,000 km warranty for the traction battery, an 8 year or 1,50,000 km warranty for the motor and motor controller, and a 6 year or 1,50,000 km warranty for the vehicle itself. Customers who make their bookings by March 31st, 2024, will enjoy extra perks such as a complimentary 7 kW home charger with installation service, a 3 kW portable charging box, a VTOL mobile power supply unit. 6 years of road assistance and the first service absolutely free of charge. With the two products already in its portfolio, what are the initiatives the company is taking to promote BYD SEAL? We are targeting the people who are already owning luxury cars, who are already owning high-end SUVs, you know, premium SUVs. We are targeting businessmen, targeting CXO, CEOs, IT professionals who understand technology, you know. So I think we'll be promoting those. Plus we are promoting, you know, content in a big way which talks about SEAL, C2B, you know, the cell to body technology, blade battery, the range, the features. So I think this will be the key focus areas. Plus our dealer partners are big partners in their own area. They have an influential group who work under them because they also have luxury car dealerships like BMW, Audis and Mercedes, all of them. Most of them have luxury car dealerships. So they have a huge database people who have bought cars, who wants a second car, third car as an EV. So I think there's going to be a wide range of, you know, uh, people. And incidentally or fortunately, 25% of our Atto 3 sales come from referrals. Mm -hmm. So that is also a huge advantage, you know, for BYD. So I think this will all go into combined working in the field to get more and more customers and inquiries and bookings for the BYD scene. Uh, BYD Atto 3 is an SUV you know, the, the people yeah. are in an SUV mode. It's mode. a complete, complete SUV customers. So you will not find people who are looking at a luxury performance sedan or a luxury sedan coming into an SUV, you know, uh, category. Uh, so I think they are going to be different set of customers. That's what we feel as a you know, company and as a brand. What is the performance status of the current products? I think uh, the E6 and Atto 3 has been accepted well because of the... I think two main factors, one is the blade battery, other is the certified range, the practical range which they get, these two plus a host of other features in Atto 3. E6 has been a practical car, I think it has in terms of range, in terms of warranty, in terms of practicality. So the fleet operators, the B2B customers have also accepted that car very well. And in the 30 lakh category, we are the market leaders in terms of this because, because we operate in that category. Okay. Let's find out the expected delivery timeline for the cars to reach customers. Uh, we are expecting that the seal deliveries will start from next month. Next month. Early next month. Okay. Yeah. The first lot of cars are coming this month and so early next month the deliveries will start happening. Okay. Yeah. In the rupees 30 lakh EV category, BYD India is the market leader. Though the electric car segment stood last in the adoption rate across segments, perhaps due to higher upfront cost and no specific incentives or subsidies, provided under FAME 2 for personal cars. This segment saw the highest growth rate of 116% in calendar 2023. With consumer interest for electric vehicles gaining momentum, it will be interesting to see how the market evolves and how each OEM script their plan to capture higher market share. Thanks, Sanjay. Thanks so much. Thanks, Thanks Mimi. Nice meeting you. Thank you for your time.